guys and welcome to Rufus and Doomfist. I just wanted to show you today a little stretch of road here where the BLM is. Right now I am heading on uh, 95 and I'm heading south. If I keep going I will run into Mexico. Da -da 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 you know, Mexico, uh, that Mexico, yep. And uh, on the right is BLM, and uh, on the left is BLM. So we're going to go up here a little bit, and we're going to run into La Posa South. That is on 95, heading south, and I'll be on the left side. We're going to go in there, and that is the long-term visitor center, okay? That's where you can, where you can go for... Uh, September to April so it's a little warm in September I got here uh, l uh, late November mid-November and I think that's the time you want to get here no sooner and then you can stay here till April I don't know when it starts getting hot but I gotta assume it's around uh, March or April so I'll let you know when you see me leave it means it got hot so here we go. Here's my mile marker 102 that I use as a, uh, a landmark telling me I'm close. And then right up here is the BLM entrance. And on the right, there's one BLM entrance. And on the left is the other. So I am at La Posa South. And then the one on the right is La Posa Tyson Wash. Okay, and these are long-term visitor areas. $181 gets you here for the season and you pay when you get in here. So this is what it looks like when you enter. Not any of the videos showed this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you're not supposed to. But hey, I don't think so. So in any case, here's La Posa South. Okay. And this is your, your little building where you check in. So you pull in here. Okay. And there's a little parking spot behind the building. So you park there, walk in here, pay your $181, and you're good to go. And then, from there, it's you're on your own. You pick where you want to be. Some folks like to be right close to the entrance, as you can see. And other folks want to be a little further, like myself. So I'm going to show you just where I am. I'm just going to follow this road down. And I'm probably, oh, I'd say maybe a mile down this road. And as you can see, there's tons and tons of RVs. And this is, they're not even all here yet. Wait till they get here. Another, say, told me January is when you really uh, uh, get to see the the, the immensity of the gathering. So, here's um, one of the Blue Boy dump stations. No RVs left here, let here, allowed there. But you can see it's got a Blue Boy dump, all right? And it's got a tank full of water to wash your little Blue Boy out when you're done. And I'll tell you, that's a stinky job you got to do there. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm not a fan of that blue boy crap. You know, I like to handle it once. And when you're camping, you got to handle it a couple times. You know, but four or five times, not for me. Nope. So uh, yeah, those guys with the fifth wheels, I think they have to uh, come and get water and then dump it into their fifth wheel somehow, and then they got to get rid of the poop. And they do that with that blue boy, which means handling it there and then handling it back at the at the dump station there and then rinsing out the tank and you know that's a lot of time spent with a little poop i don't know if i want to do that no sir so that's one reason i didn't want a fifth wheel i did that right at least huh guys okay so we're moseying on here boy i'm a chatterbox again today holy smokes you can't shut me up once i start talking especially when i'm happy and i am happy so here we go uh, up here is a vaulted toilet. Yes, this is so you really only handle your proof once. You walk out to this thing, you do your business, and you walk away, and everything's taken care of, and then nature does the rest. So that's there's only one of those there, and uh, that's the only one I've seen here inside this La Posa South. So uh, no line, actually, most of the time, which is good news, you know. You don't need a line when you got to go do that. That's the last thing you want is a line. Yep. All right, so up here on uh, on uh, left is a, a nice accumulation of vehicles, and further up ahead on the left there is also uh, dumpsters where we dump our garbage. Okay, so that's where you get rid of your garbage. 
Now, look at this, some of these rigs. There's one, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve uh, solar panels on that rig, which is for sale. And this guy over here, he's got 15 solar panels on the trailer alone. Plus, I think he's got another two, four, six, eight, ten solar panels on top. Now, these ones on the trailer are 250 watters, so he's got like almost 3,000 watts of solar there, maybe more, 3,000 and something, plus what's on the roof of the of the RV. So he's looking at close to 4,000, maybe 5,000 kilowatts of solar power. Unbelievable. Wow. Darn, I got 200 watts, and I'm doing pretty good with it. So, by the way, my panels are working just the way I like. Okay, now, if it was crowded here, this would be where the line starts for the dump. And the dump uh, for your gray water and your black water, the water we don't like to talk about, is right up here on the right. And right now there's a truck in there, probably got a blue boy he's getting rid of. And there's a guy doing something with another tank that he's got to handle a million times. Oh, yeah, that's not for me, that kind of, no, sir. No, 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 I just want to empty the way I do. And uh, that's so right there you got your, your dump station. And here on the left where you see these other RVs and people standing around, that's where you get your fresh water. Yes, got fresh water there. There's uh, enough for one, two, three, four spigots over there. And then here on the right where you see this truck with the two silo panels on it, there's also water and there's one, two, three, four sites right there where you can get the water. So that's pretty cool. And I am up the road here about a quarter mile away. And I chose to be here because of the relationship to the dump station, which makes it quite easy. And I can see when there's a line and when there's not. And I would say the optimum time to dump is early in the morning or late in the evening. Okay, so that's it, folks. Another video by Chico complete. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to be happy. You take care. Bye.